Hello, this is John Canalopoulos. It's really a pleasure to share with you this very interesting new technique. We have a 34-year-old lady with mild myopia, just over three doctors, minimal astigmatism, and she's a laser vision correction candidate. Uh, all the measurements look uh, quite consistent. Dry, wet refraction. The pentacam maps here, uh, sign flug imaging looks relatively good. Nothing very suspicious. Uh, on Pantacam, minimal thickness, uh, over five, 500 microns. This in the past would be considered as a LASIK or SMILE candidate, left eye the same. But when we look at the anterior CT images, this is nine millimeter by OptiView, you can see significant thinning and distortion epithelial maps. These are the new Innovis combined uh, wavefront, uh, sine flug, and action length measurements uh, with uh, consistency and the ability through ray tracing by artificial intelligence to customize the ablation. This is what we actually used in this patient, but we did not perform LASIK. We used the EBK device here by Orca, and this is a blunt plastic device that is rubbed on the cornea, is able to depithelize the cornea with a very non-traumatic way. And the other key element here was using Bronfenac 0.9 milligrams per ml. We're drying the surface after obviously using um, ample topical anesthetic. Uh, the surface has to be relatively dry and then come with the um, EBK ORCA device to remove the epithelium. And the novelty here is that um, we're going to remove the epithelium at a minimal, the minimal possible way. Uh, and this is the technical difficulty here since this is done manually, the surgeon has to have an idea based on the pupillary um, diameter and also on the cornea diameter what will encapsulate the ablation diameter which is already present on our EX500 examiner laser. Um, another pearl here in using the EBK device is that we have to make sure there's no island of epithelium or subepithelium residual left over because as a laser or a blade um, we may end up with a uh, island at that area. Um, so uh, we picked this particular patient. The patient is a little bit timid doing the procedure, We're using a little bit more of anesthetic, as you can see here, and uh, topical Bronfenac, uh, 0 0.9 milligrams per uh, ml. It's marketed in Europe as a trade name uh, Yellux, Y-E-L-L-O-X, and it has been a game changer uh, in uh, immediate postoperative uh, comfort for our patients, we essentially see no significant pain in patients who undergo PRK or even with our combined Athens protocol cross-linking uh, due to the analgesic effect that uh, this uh, NSA appears to have. So here we have the uh, cleared with the EBK device epithelium and we're going to watch the uh, ray tracing customized ablation which is going to be 6.8 millimeter in diameter. And I'm showing this part of the video to see that it's completely within that the epithelialized area. And the maximum diameter here is uh, seven millimeters of the de epithelialized area. Mitomycin, bandage lens, and the magic drug here, 0 0.9 milligram per ml, Bronfenac, uh, uh, commercially known as uh, Yellux. Um, Drop there, here the data for the other eye. Similar thing here on the left eye. You can see how smoothly this device, again, this is a disposable, single use, blunt, it's not sharp. Uh, the plastic edges, the two plastic edges are blunt. And I'm taking a little bit of time here because I wanna create the minimal epithelial defect that will encompass all of my ablation. So I go back and forth, again, very careful here. See, I'm gonna remove this little strand of uh, sub-epithelium, clear Bowman's reflex. My ablation is totally within my depithelialized area. And the magic thing here is that uh, these eyes will re-epithelialize day two to day three. And this is day three, fully epithelialized. Another uh, very Encouraging thing is that these patients walk from the OR with visions in the 2025 ballpark. Uh, so essentially, they walk with vision better than they do if they've had LASIK or SMILE uh, that day. 
And we're going to watch here the three-month uh, sine flux imaging. You can see the uh, uh, ablation creates a, a little bit of a prolate, steeper in the center, perfectly centered, uh, very nicely healed cornea. The patient is in, enjoying 2010 vision. Uh, and this is the other eye. So in result, we found that uh, this procedure appears to have tremendous reduced pain profile. Uh, most eyes it re-epithelialized by day three. And as I mentioned before, a very significant advantage, 2025, immediately after the procedure for all eyes. So in conclusion, this may be a, um, uh, a very advantageous alternative to LASIK and PRK because it minimizes pain probably through the small epithelial defect and the bronfenac, obviously we use antibiotic and corticosteroid, uh, and it appears to be severe to LASIK and smile in the immediate uh, rehabilitation, less restrictions and great safety profile. Thanks so much.